Hi everybody. So today's focus is gonna be a combination clean with me video and review with me video about Clean Boss Multi Surface Disinfectant and Cleaner. So I was pet sitting uh, for a friend's dog who had a broken femur and he woke up really early. It was like four in the morning. And <laughs> you guys, I started watching an infomercial. And that infomercial was for Clean Boss. And I was watching, I was like, oh my God, that's amazing. It can clean everything. So in my four in the morning mindset, I ordered Clean Boss. So this video is gonna try to give you a very comprehensive review of how well Clean Boss cleans and disinfects. Okay, let's get started. Let's start with a review of everything that's on the label of the Clean Boss bottle. Now this bottle, it came like this. I ended up by getting four of them because it was buy two, get two free. They do come with spray nozzles also. Let's read the label. So Clean Boss by Joy, a multi-surface disinfectant and cleaner. Kills 99.9% .9 of germs, fungi, and molds, and bacteria. Kills cold and flu viruses. It's a fast, powerful clean. It cuts grease and grime. This multi-purpose clean does a lot. There are asterisks though um, on what those uh, germs are that they kill. So let's go over to those. So it says kills 99.9% .9 of household germs. Examples, Staph aureus, Salmonella, Pseudomonas, E. coli, MRSA, Listeria, Pneumonia, Streptococcus. There's a whole bunch of stuff here. Athlete's foot fungus, yeasts. Oh, there's a whole bunch of viruses. We're talking coronavirus, um, RSV, lots of different types of influenza, and norovirus. That's a lot of different things that this claims it can kill. That's, that's pretty crazy. Okay, let's go back to the front. It says it's botanically derived um, active ingredient. It's a fresh thyme scent. It says that the active ingredient is thymol, which is present as a compound, sorry, to take my glasses off, as thyme oil. It's only 0.23% of thymol, or thymol, I'm not certain how you pronounce it, um, which is from thyme, like the essential oil, thyme. Okay, well, I'm gonna open it right now and just smell it and just tell you what it smells like. Oh, I gotta take off this whole thing. Oh, yeah, it's strong. Oh, that's strong. If you ever smell thyme, if cook with thyme, that's legit just what it smells like. I know you're probably sick and tired of listening to me jibber jabber about the label, but I'm really trying to give a comprehensive review. Hang in there, the disinfecting fun is coming. It says you can use on hard, non-porous surfaces in your kitchen, bathroom, windows, furniture, baby, toys and furniture, cell phones, keyboards. It's a lot, right? We're talking a multi-surface cleaner here. Including glass, stainless steel, glazed tile, sealed grout, metal, sealed wood, sealed fiberglass, sealed marble. So I think the key word here is sealed. On the other side of the label is our directions for use. So this is what we'll be using. I will follow these directions the best to my ability when I'm performing these tests. Okay. So to clean, deodorize, and remove allergens. Remove allergens. Okay, there's another little asterisk here. That's interesting. It says this product removes the following allergens. Dust mite matter, cat dander, dog dander, mouse dander, rat dander, guinea pig dander, cockroach matter, peanut, birch pollen, timothy, grass pollen, ragweed pollen. This is gonna be hard for me to test. I'm not certain I can test this. So to clean, deodorize, and again, remove allergens, which we just read about, spray the product on the surface and wipe clean. Remove tough stains. Let's stand a few minutes and wipe clean. For soft surfaces, spray to wet surface and wipe, wipe or blot clean, okay? Always test an inconspicuous area first. Now let's go to the directions to disinfect. So to use on hard, non-porous surfaces, you're gonna spray thoroughly to wet the surface with the product. The surface must be re remain wet for two minutes to eliminate bacteria, three minutes for fungi, 
three minutes for M. bovis at 70 to 74 degrees Fahrenheit. One minute for viruses. To disinfect for norovirus, let's stand for four minutes. Okay, so we have some different things that we need to consider here. I will focus on the bacterial uh, disinfecting because that's something that I can control and grow. Um, it's hard for me to grow norovirus. I ain't gonna do it, all right, guys? We're not gonna, <laughs> you know, we're not gonna play that game. It says on food contact surfaces, no rinse is required. Now let's look at our directions to sanitize. To sanitize, you're gonna spray thoroughly to wet the surface. Surfaces must remain wet for 30 seconds on hard, non-porous surfaces and two minutes on soft surfaces. No rinsing. Again, the food packages, food, remove your food before you spray it. Okay, and there's one last uh, direction and that is to sanitize pre-cleaned food contact surfaces. Spray to thoroughly wet the surface, allow the surface to remain wet for 60 seconds and air dry. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spend next few days or week or so, whenever I'm doing cleaning in the house, I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna use the Clean Boss. So if you're new to my channel and you don't know how I conduct my uh, disinfectant testing, I'm gonna run through it really quickly here. If you're, if you're a subscriber and you know how I do this, this will just be a review for you, okay? Basically what I do is I take a sterile swab and a Petri dish, okay? This one is being used currently for another experiment. I will take a sterile swab and swab a surface that I would like to test. I will label my Petri dish. I divide it in threes like this and I label it A, B, and C. Okay. I'll swab a surface and put it on B for before I clean. I will clean the surface you following the instructions that the disinfectant says to do. And then I will swab the same surface and put it on A for after. And we leave C blank. I don't put anything here. This is our control. So nothing goes in this space. So this allows me to see how much bacteria is on a surface before I clean it and then after I clean it. One very last thing before we get to the cleaning is that it does say that heavily soiled surfaces require a pre-cleaning. I'm going to use water. Let's get started with the cleaning. The toilet seat. This is fantastic. Let's look at that before area. You can see all the different bacteria, lots of bacterial colonies there. And the after, after I clean the toilet seat with Clean Boss, I have no bacteria, zero bacterial colonies on here. That's fantastic. That's an excellent, excellent disinfecting clean. Super, super impressed with that. Really impressed. Okay, next we have results for the toilet rim, like the Underneath the toilet seat, like the body of the toilet, as you can see the before here, there's a tremendous amount of bacterial colonies in that B section, that's all ton, and not that many in A. Let's count them. 
I counted about 23 bacterial colonies in, in after cleaning. So I think that Clean Boss does a fantastic job at disinfecting bacteria on the toilet. I mean, you look at both toilet dishes. I mean, the befores and the afters are, are amazing. Like I'm really, really impressed with Clean Boss's disinfecting power. <laughs>so I just finished cleaning the bathroom sink, the bathroom toilet, the kitchen counter and the kitchen sink. And I have to be very honest with you, I find the smell to be extremely overwhelming and I am a bit nauseous. Like I'm a little dizzy and nauseous right now. So I opened some windows and I had the fans on um, to clear out the smell right now. But I just want to be honest during this review, I do find that smell to be a bit overwhelming after cleaning those areas. On to the kitchen results. So here is the kitchen counter, okay? So you can see that there is a tremendous amount of bacterial colonies on that before section. And look at the after, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six colonies for after. I would say that Clean Boss does a fantastic job at disinfecting the kitchen counter and the kitchen sink. You can see again, B for before, there's tons of bacterial colonies on the before side in the A for after disinfecting with Clean Boss, I see I see none. I see no bacterial colonies at all. So I would definitely say that Clean Boss disinfects and cleans the kitchen extremely well. I'm very impressed with this disinfecting power.
So now I have a permanent drawing on my plan table. Thanks, Queen Boss. So what sort of conclusion have I come to regarding Clean Boss? I'm torn. I'm absolutely torn with whether I like this product, if I don't like the product, <laughs> because it has some great attributes and has some things that I really dislike about it. Let's start with the fails, okay? I do not like the scent. It is very strong. At first, when I was smelling it in the bottle, I was like, ooh, this is kind of a strong herby scent. And it is. It's a very strong herb-like scent. I mean, thyme, if you smelt it in the grocery store or in like your little jar, <laughs> like seasonings, thyme, that's what it smells like, times like a thousand. It's extremely strong smell. Now, if I were just going to use the spray on one quick area and walk out of the room, it might be fine to use. But if I'm gonna be spraying, wetting a surface, sitting for two minutes and either rinsing it, if I feel like rinsing it or wiping it down, or I'm in an enclosed room like the bathroom, um, or I'm using it all day because I'm trying to get a lot of household cleaning done, it's too much for me. It made me nauseous. Cleaning grease. For me, during my test of testing the grease on my Ninja Foodie, it didn't touch it. So I was very disappointed with the Clean Boss's ability to clean or cut through, I guess you would say, cut through grease. Their infomercial really pushes the grease power ability and I didn't see it. The crayon. You guys, I was so excited. I was like, this is going to be such an easy one to do. I'll draw on my table and then I'll clean it off. It's going to be amazing. No. Clean Boss doesn't touch crayon. No. I still have it on my table. I'm gonna try some, I'm thinking I'll try, I'll probably just use like a magic eraser maybe to get it off. But I'm like, no, it didn't work at all. Big, big fail, clean boss. The last fail I have is my toaster oven. It didn't really clean my toaster oven very well at all. I didn't see much of a difference at all in cleaning my toaster oven. So eh, those things for me, not so good. Next, I'll talk about the okay category. And for me, the okay category was the nail polish demo. I just followed that exactly from the Clean Boss infomercial where they drop the nail polish into the Clean Boss and it just like breaks apart. That did not happen for me fully. It did a little bit. You can see that part. It did a little bit, but not nearly like they showed on the infomercial. So I give that an okay. Now, I ain't gonna go taking off fingernail polish with Clean Boss. It was just, I was just trying to repeat what they were showing in the infomercial. And that just gives me a, eh, an okay. The good, okay? These are the things that I'm really impressed with about Clean Boss and things that I really enjoyed. Cleaning dirty handprints and grime off of light switches and walls works very well. So my husband does a lot of mechanic work in our garage because my car likes to break all the time. I have a 2006 Mazda 6. She's old, she breaks and he fixes it for me. So he often comes in the home, you know, he has to wash his hands. He comes in from the garage, he hasn't washed his hands, and you know, he has to touch the light switch, it touches the wall. Clean Boss worked great at getting those dirty spots clean. Super impressed with it, worked really well with that. Someday I'll buy a new car. I don't know when. Windows. I am impressed with its ability to clean smudgy handprints off of a window. I did the filming at night because I thought you could see the reflection a little bit better of the, like the smudge. Cause during the day you can't really see the smudges that well. So I know the film probably didn't come out the best, but I will say it did take care of like grimy handprints on my windows very well. Impressed with that. And my favorite part of Clean Boss was its disinfecting power. When you look at how well it disinfects the bathroom and the kitchen, you clearly can see that Clean Boss, when it sits on the surface for two minutes, absolutely disinfects bacteria. I think it did a fantastic job with disinfecting bacteria. Hands down, like really, really, really good. 
One of the things that really bothers me about the Clean Boss infomercials is that they focus so strongly on all these other things. And I know it's probably because they need visuals, right? They want that visual to like, look at the crayon on the table. Look at it disappear. Oh, look at this greasy pan. Boom, look at it disappear. Because we're visual people and we need to see it in order to like be convinced that a product is good. I wish they did Petri dish testing like this for their infomercial because I think it would have had, it would have a much stronger impact on showing its amazing quality of removing bacteria. So what about my future with Clean Boss? What am I gonna do? I have four bottles of this stuff, okay? Four bottles. When I clean with it a lot, it makes me nauseous. <laughs> it does. It makes me cough and it makes me nauseous. So I can use Clean Boss in small amounts. Like if I wanna disinfect, I think a very particular area of my home I, will, I would reach for Clean Boss. I would definitely use it for the disinfecting. I can't use this to spray all around the house and clean the entire surface everywhere with it. I can't because the smell is too yucky for me. But I would consider using it for that grime that's on, like I said, the light switches or walls, as well as disinfecting small areas in my home uh, because of the smell, because I am very sensitive to the smell. But I thoroughly enjoyed reviewing Clean Boss. I find the infomercials to be amusing. <laughs> um, I like testing out their claims. I had a good time with this one. Um, it opened up my eyes to a more natural uh, disinfectant. Thyme is an amazing essential oil and it definitely does a really, really, really great job at disinfecting bacteria. I'm super, super impressed. I think, I don't know if I have said impressed enough with its disinfecting power, but in case you didn't hear me, I'm impressed. Impressed with the disinfecting power. The disinfecting power is really impressive. Like I'm really, really impressed with Clean Boss's disinfecting power. I really like the disinfecting power. I'm impressed. So if you have a cleaning product that you would like Field of Focus to test, let me know. Put it in the comments section and hopefully I'll be able to get to it. That would be fun. It'd be nice to know what other people are interested in seeing. Uh, check out my other cleaning videos. I have one on, what's it, vinegar, the Clorox hydrogen peroxide cleaner, a pine saw, cleaning your washing machine, like using the basket cycle. And I'm trying to add as many as I can as I clean. I really enjoy uh, running experiments as a scientist. I really do enjoy doing things like this. I find it to be fun. So if you like looking at Petri dishes, can you hit that thumbs up for me? It lets me know that you guys do appreciate and like looking at these dishes. Thank you for watching. I appreciate your time. Have yourselves a great day.